Today we've got a fun and easy to do beginner nunchuck class. We're going to do a basic warm up. We're going to learn our switches, strikes, blocks, a couple of techniques here and there. If you've never done nunchucks before, you can follow along with this class and learn some things if you've done nunchucks. It's still a great workout, great class to do. Go ahead and get started. Grab your nunchucks. I'm using a pair of rattan uh, nunchucks with a chain. This is about a four and a half inch chain. If you're just now starting out, Padded nunchucks with a cord or a chain is a great idea so that you don't hurt yourself and that you're not scared to do techniques at full speed and in the right direction, the right angles. Once you get a little bit better, something like rattan, bamboo, and various other options is just fine. Okay, let's go ahead and jump right into our warm up. Simple enough, we're going to be doing jumping jacks and we're just going to switch the nunchuck over our head. Pretty simple. The point of this really is just to get our heart rate up and work on a little bit of hand coordination. With nunchucks, there's a lot of hand-eye coordination. There's a lot of switching, fast-moving parts. If you're not careful, you will hit yourself or you will hit someone um, and you might break some furniture. So, always a good idea to start with padded chucks or something that is less dangerous. Okay, keep going with me, keep moving. Showing you a different side angle here. Next, we're gonna move into a switch under. So we're actually just switching and popping up on our knee. Go. Just stay with me. Whenever I move into a new technique or a new exercise, I just want you to do it with me after you see how to do it. Don't worry about timing. Don't worry about reps. This isn't a very long warm up. We just wanna get our body warm, get some hand eye coordination. Get ready to get some work in. Ready to learn some techniques. Keep it going. Okay, a little bit more on hand eye coordination. We're just going to be switching and popping the nunchuck up into our palm. You don't have to go really fast. Just kind of toss it up, open the palm, and rock a little bit side to side if you want. We're just getting used to the idea of switching from hand to hand even if it's in this particular way. All righty, good. Next thing we're going to do, grab your nunchucks. We're going to do a hop, hop, high block. Simple enough to push the arms out over your head at an angle as if you're blocking a downward strike to your head. Stay with me, hop, hop, high block. I'm popping back my right foot right now, okay? Now we're popping back the left foot. Hop, hop, high block, popping back the left leg. Same idea, but I'm doing hop, hop, low block, as if a kick is coming at me or an ascending type strike with a weapon. Hop, hop, popping back the right foot after two hops. Be careful not to pull your chucks apart too fast. Pop, pop, block. Some of the really chuck cheap chucks can pull apart. Now, we're just popping back and forth on the balls of our feet. We're going to pop out to our left and do a side angle block. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four. Five. Now we're popping out to the right side angle block. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Okay, just hopping up and down. Bringing the nunchucks around our torso. Alrighty, almost done. Same time. Stretch it out a little bit. We don't want to cool down completely. Well, now our body's warm, we want to do some work. Feel free to take a deep breath in. And out. Let's go ahead and practice some techniques now. First, we're going to learn the front switch. This is the basic way to switch. Actually, right before we learn the front switch, let's learn where we're going to hold the chuck today. So, grab the very top of your nunchuck. 
very top with your fist. Where your pinky is right now, put the top of your hand there. That's about where we're gonna hold it most of the time on a lot of our blocks and strikes and switches. And combat and fighting, nunchuck, oftentimes you'll use the bottom part of the nunchuck, of course, because it gives you more range and the strike itself. When you hold it higher up, you have more control over swings and strikes and movement in general. So that's why we're holding it close to the top. Simple enough. We're going to practice the front switch just to let you uh, take a look at it real quick. Just the idea of switching from side to side. To do a front switch, let's go ahead and start the nunchuck. I'll put it, uh, put it in your right hand. I'll mirror you, it's in my left hand, but put it in your right hand. Swing it over your shoulder and back down. Go ahead and bend your knees a little bit. You don't really want to practice uh, straight legged. It can create bad posture and uh, create weaker legs really. So over the shoulder and back down, over the shoulder. As it swings over the shoulder, simple enough, you're gonna already have your right arm, your palm facing back ready to grab. It's not cupped, it's not completely open, it's just, it's relaxed. When it lands, you grab. You time it to where right whenever the chuck goes over your shoulder, you have a relaxed palm and you, you collapse, you clasp the hand around the chuck. Notice I move my torso side to side a little bit rather than being really rigid like this. That gives me more flow into the energy of each uh, switch that I do, and I'll then <coughs> transfer the energy and the momentum to the next blocker strike that we practice with. Go ahead and practice some front switches with me. Switch, 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 switch. If you're missing the chuck, if you're hitting something, don't worry. This is something you just get repetition in. <coughs> it becomes more second nature, and you start to do things like back switches later on. Let's just do front switches today. <clears throat> okay. Now let's go ahead and finish with the chuck and what we call the over the shoulder position. And this older, over the shoulder position or shoulder position, I can do a lot of different things. I'm grabbing it with my right hand and my left hand. I could pull back if I needed to, <clears throat> but really it's loaded and cocked really ready for strikes or blocks or lots of other things that you may need to do. Just our basic fighting hold over the shoulder. <clears throat> That's the over the shoulder position. Now from the over the shoulder position, we're going to practice a figure eight block. Figure eight block is just the idea of you swinging the nunchuck on each side of the arm. As you swing on each side of the arm, you're creating <clears throat> distance between yourself and the opponent. If you're swinging as fast and hard and you have a heavy enough nunchuck, an opponent, of course, wouldn't just walk into the nunchuck, especially if we're doing nunchuck sparring. This gives you a shield, creates space between yourself and your opponent. That's the idea here. So you swing the nunchuck out and in on each side of your arm. <clears throat> Notice that I'm not moving my arm really big and wide, like I'm drawing an infinity sign. I'm not doing that. I'm actually keeping it tighter in. Most of that movement is from my wrist and forearm. A really good forearm and wrist workout is to do it on a straight arm and do this for minutes on end. <coughs> Excuse me. If you do that, um, you'll get a really good arm workout. Over the shoulder, let's go ahead and switch and switch legs because we're practicing in a fighting stance. Over the shoulder position, now it's in our left arm. This may be a little bit sticky, a little bit hard, <coughs> as you don't usually use your left hand. Same idea. Most of the movement is from my forearm and wrist. I'm not doing a really crazy big motion here. If you're having trouble controlling it, slow it down <coughs> one swing at a time. Okay, that's our figure eight block or figure eight spin. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the strike. This is going to be from our right fighting stance, basic position over the shoulder position. We already learned switches and we learned figure eight block. A basic strike in front of you. If we start over the shoulder, you push your body forward and you actually throw the nunchuck out. You throw it out and then you spin it around just one time on the outside. You swing it out, you spin it around one time. So if you'd like to take a look from this angle, 
spin it out around one time. It strikes the target and then it spins down and around to the capture position. The capture position is simply under the armpit and you have the nunchuck ready and the, uh, the capture position, which is what we call this. We've got capture, we've got over the shoulder. Pretty simple. So from here, we could also do a strike and simply capture. If we start over the shoulder though, we clearly have more downward descending striking motion into the nose, whatever part of the face, whatever part of the body we're actually hitting with the strike before we pull it back in. Let's go ahead and switch and to our left arm, do our very best, swing out and curl it back around. Out, curl it back around. Important note, I'm practicing in a good fighting stance. We never wanna just practice our arms like this. and get really lazy. We're not gonna work our legs out. We're not gonna use our core. We're not gonna use our body alignment. All those are a very important part of nunchuck training. Also, as I strike, if my other hand is not engaged, it's always next to my face. I'm ready to block, I'm ready to do something over here and prepare. My other hand is either on the chuck or it's at the protected position. So left hand strike. Be careful not to strike up immediately too fast you'll hit yourself in the chin. You need to turn and braise your body a little bit off angle to give yourself the ability to strike out and back, especially when you start from the captured position. So one more time, we're on the right fighting stance. Strike. Stay with me. This is a class I want you guys to be doing every technique with me the very best you can. Let's switch, bring it over the shoulder, switch legs, switch arms. Left arm strike. Good. Next. We're going to move on to what we call the front strike. Simply we're striking directly in front of our body <clears throat> in a horizontal plane fashion. Now on the front strike, I like to practice it in a horse stance. Our legs are apart, our knees are bent, our back is straight. We can start over the shoulder or in a capture position. It's easiest to learn this from the capture position. I have it under my right armpit, I'm here, I'm ready. And the front strike, I could be striking to the ribs or to the neck, or I could strike a higher to the temple, for example, okay? I start in the capture position, I go out, I swing across with rotating my obliques and my power, and then I come back. But I start here. If I was doing it in fighting, it would be more like this. But we're practicing it in more of a horse stance right now. Now, when I practice it, I swing across. Notice I cocked my left arm up and across in a protected fashion. I'm getting my elbow and arm out of the way from the strike angle and I'm protecting the high line of my body. Yes. I'm getting the power from my arm and my obliques and the alignment turning into it. <clears throat> so we're doing a front strike with the right arm. Go. Yes. Go. Yes. Go. Yes. Go. Yes. Go. Yes. All right, good job. Let's switch arms to our left now. Go ahead and take it to the capture position. Left arm capture, horse stance. You bring the chuck out, you swing it across horizontal at the target, you pull it back under the uh, capture position. You may have a question, it's like, how are we doing this without completely destroying our own ribs? It's important to get enough extended clearance out in front of you. The nunchuck, the back end tip, if you watch where it lands on me, it barely taps me, if it even does, on the back side uh, of my short rib. So it's a very extended strike and there's not much of a tap. I'm not doing a, a small strike because then I would hit myself. And clearly if you actually hit the opponent, that ends the rotational impact. You wouldn't hit yourself anyway. But it's important to practice it pro uh, properly. So it's on our left side. Strike, strike. Hold on tight when you give the most power into the apex of the strike or else your nunchuck may fly loose uh, from your hand. Yes. Striking across, rotating my wrist towards the end and turning my palm downward towards the end of the strike. Yes. 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 Switch to the other side. Takes us to the side strike. The side strike is our most powerful strike. It's really just a fluid freestyle 
hit someone as hard as you possibly can to touch track. I mean, if you had a pair of nunchucks and you were trying to save your life, you would do something like this, uh, most likely. It's sort of, you know, back here, you swing across as hard as you can. You're trying to knock them out, maybe to the temple, to the head, and it's already free flowing. It's behind and over your shoulder, but we're not grabbing it like this and then doing this. We pop it behind our shoulder and we swing across. Clearly, you wouldn't have to do this first. Depends on where the nunchuck is at. But here's how we'll practice the side strike. We're in our fighting stance, pop it over the shoulder, pop it over the shoulder, rotate your body, and then swing across. You can swing at a slightly downward angle. That gives you this descending angle. Rather than trying to keep perfectly horizontal or even going up, the downward descending angle uh, it's conducive to the, the body alignment of you squatting down some. So we're here and across. You're drawing a diagonal line across your target, wherever you're trying to hit. So here, yes. very open, wide strike. Whereas our front strike was compacted to just uh, the capture position and across. That's our side strike. Okay, so let's get into our right fighting stance. Open it up. Side strike. Yes. Get ready again. Let's move our feet a little bit. Side strike. After I side strike, I tap the side of my thigh and then I swing it over. That allows me to adjust the chucks over the shoulder position. Yes. I could grab again or I can leave it free flowing depending on what I want to do next. Let's switch arms to our left side. Side strike, adjust the chucks. Free flow in position. Stay with me. Make sure you're doing every rep with me at home, okay guys? Side strike. Okay, good. So a real quick review of everything we learned today. And we're about to finish the class. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Remember, we hold the chuck close to the top, uh, about where our pinky is from the very top down. Let's put our Top of our hand that gives us a reasonable idea of where to hold the nunchucks when we practice. Front switch, you just bring it in a vertical line over the shoulder, and my other hand, palm open, relaxed, is already prepared and ready for the catch. I move my torso a little bit with each switch to make uh, to not cut off my momentum and my energy. Next thing we learned was the over the shoulder basic fighting position in a fighting stance, and then figure eight block. Switch, figure eight block. Figure eight block doesn't have a specific time limit. Um, you can do it for a couple of seconds or for an, uh, uh, 10 minutes if you wanted to. And it doesn't mean you have to do four figure eights and then back. It can be an open-ended type uh, movement. Next is the strike. We're in our right fighting stance. Strike, strike. Swing out, half spin back. Switch arms, strike, 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 strike. Switch arms. Let's go to the capture position or stance. Front strike. Front strike. Front strike. Front strike. Switch, capture position, front strike. Front strike, front strike, front strike. Switch arms, side strike. Open it up, strike down. Hit the thigh and back, strike down. Strike down. Switch. Awesome, right there. Down. And there it is. Go ahead and cool down a little bit. Worked out our arms a lot today. Worked out a lot of muscles, really. Go ahead and get started. Put the nunchucks behind your back and just lean back and extend. Stretch out your back some, take some breaths. Swing the chuck to one side. Other side. Get your 
Thumb tucks down. If you can, grab your hands and lean over, bending your legs some, and let your arms drop. Not too far though, just as far as is comfortable. We're always breathing. Take one hand out, one palm, pull back on your fingers, go ahead and stretch out our wrists and our forearm. Switch. All right. Hope you guys really enjoyed class today. Had a lot of fun. Broke a sweat. Had a great workout, actually. Um, if you want to learn even more nunchucks, I have some more videos out here. But I also have a program called Ultimate Chucks. It's a home study course. You can actually earn rank um, yellow through black chevron, which are chevron patches which go on your gi. So we have kata, we have combat and sparring, all the way through the rank. So a pretty cool program. If you want to become a student of mine uh, online, learn some of those things. Otherwise, thank you for doing the class, and I'll see you guys next time.